I don't know a lot about cars, but I do know a lot about, you know, the zombie apocalypse and what I would like to have to survive. And so I think that I'll be able to come up with something that looks cool, but may not be very practical or effective because I'm not good with physics and uh, uh, things like that, but it seemed like a fun challenge and I'm up for doing things that I don't think I'm capable of to see if I pull them off and then if I fail, I go, well, I didn't think I could do that anyway. The mobility of it is really the most important aspect. The fact that, you know, this thing will be able to move around and uh, take you from place to place as you're gathering supplies and, you know, be able to do that in a, in a somewhat safe way, I think would make it kind of an ideal station, you know, to have that uh, you can move around in and then wait in and then uh, go from place to place in. I think every character in the book would love to drive a Hyundai Elantra. Having written The Walking Dead for nearly a decade now, I think it's pretty clear that the thing that would be the most terrifying in that world is the humans, uh, much more so than the zombies. I think that uh, the fact that they can actually think and plan and the fact that they're capable of, you know, doing much worse things than eating you, if you can believe that, uh, uh, makes them much bigger of a threat. I feel like I would die very quickly. Uh, having written The Walking Dead as much as I have, uh, it doesn't seem like that would be a fun world to live in. Really, I just think back to all the issues of The Walking Dead and different ways that zombies were taken out and different scenarios that they were in and what they would need to have to get out of them and uh, basically just design that around a car. I think that the things that make zombies the most threatening is their sheer amount of numbers and you know car maintenance will be very important because you're going to need to break those ranks and so you know one of the features that i would want on this car would be you know some kind of a battering ram uh, scoop kind of thing that would deflect bodies away from you as you had to plow through large masses of zombies we're going to have some blades on the wheels that would use the natural turning motion of the wheels there's going to be some basic uh, you know security measures where it'd be metal plates that'll be welded onto all the windows it could be like how's that metal plate doing on the other side of this window Boop, clink, clink, still good. One of my favorite aspects is a uh, uh, sort of a guardrail fence-like place that uh, goes around the sunroof so that someone can pop out of the top of that, still being completely secure inside the car behind that fence. The interior, I think, uh, would be roomy enough to have uh, some kind of a, you know, rudimentary living quarters. I think it's kind of the ideal fit for something that's going to have, you know, the horsepower and going to be able to have impact and everything, but also be maneuverable. You're going to need to be turning quite a bit and backing up and getting away from threats uh, when you need to, and uh, I think this is a good fit for that. I'm generally a good person, but uh, I would not want to get eaten by zombies, and I would probably do next to anything to keep that from happening, and I have next to no skills. I mean, in the apocalypse, I'd be going from group to group going, do you need anyone to write comic books for you? I have to give, you know, credit to George A. Romero. Uh, you know, he is the inventor of the modern zombie, the guy who wrote and directed the best zombie movies ever made. Uh, you know, The Walking Dead absolutely would not exist if it wasn't for the work that he had done in those movies. I think that uh, you can never underestimate the resourcefulness of people. Stuck in a zombie apocalypse, the entire world would essentially become a prison. There's not any TV, there's nothing really to do, and your survival depends on your ingenuity. Hyundai does a good job on things, getting to work with them and actually, uh, you know, tear their car up and make it look crazy is kind of, kind of a lot of fun. It's an adorable looking vehicle. Um, I, 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 I want one.